of all, would like to, to welcome you to uh, Art by the Seas uh, community photo show, the Eye on the Lens. And uh, we, uh, just a couple of things that I want to remind you of. Right after the awards, there will be the, the drawing for the, the piece of art. This is our 10th anniversary, and every month we're giving away at least two pieces of art. Members are donating toward that. So all year long, you can come in and register for that and win some of the art. Uh, so that'll be, that drawing will be right after the awards. And also want to remind you that there are refreshments. Be sure to help yourself with that. And uh, with that, just again, thank you for coming. I would like to ask those that have participated in this show, would you raise your hands so we can see? All right. The, uh, one of the things that, that, since I've been part of this gallery, that I, I brag about when people come in as we go through the gallery, the, the level of talent that there is in our small town. And this, again, just this demonstrates that. So uh, thank you who, those who have entered, uh, and we, we look forward to appreciating these all month long. So uh, when we do the, the uh, awards, if your name is called, would you mind coming up? Because we want to get a picture of you and then a picture of you standing fairly close to your, your piece of art, your, your photo. Uh, so, uh, just in, in introducing our judge, uh, her first camera, hope this doesn't fade her too much, is a, <laughs> a Polaroid <laughs> Swinger. <laughs> Anybody remember those? Uh, but she used that to photograph all of her, her and her neighbor's pets, uh, those that stood still. And uh, then from that, she also loved to draw animals, especially horses. Uh, after high school, she took photography classes and worked at a photo studio, photography studio where she learned the art of portraiture, wedding photography, high school seniors, and children's as well as pets. In 1980, uh, she moved to the Oregon coast, uh, was a print enhancement specialist at Brown Studio in North Bend for 17 years. How many of you remember her there? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Uh, she, she and her husband were co-owners of Cottonwood Studios in Coos Bay for three years and still works out of her home studio. Recently retired from the Coos Art Museum. Her work has been published in brochures for the Bay Area Chamber of Commerce, the South Central Visitor's Guide, Edgewater Inn Brochure, Friends, and Shore, Friends of Shore Acres uh, newsletter and book, Garden, Gardens Above the Waves, and Tom Box, Tom Box. Box book, out, of, out Our Back Door, the McCullough Light Bridge uh, Light Brigade uh, used her slides for a presentation campaign uh, to light the North Bend Bridge. She has exhibited in Seattle, Portland, Coos Bay, North Bend Libraries, uh, Pony Village Mall, Coos Art Museum, Black Markets Gourmet, and best of all, Art by the Sea Gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Archie Davenport. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank Art by the Sea for having this photography show and um, for inviting me to be the juror. And, um, my first impression when I walked in and saw this wall, it's like, how am I going to narrow it down to nine awards? You know, it just took me several passes to even start to think about what I was going to do for the different award placements. But, um, so, because it was just, just too hard to choose nine, and, and all the works were beautiful and um, worthy in their own way. So. I got down to juring, and my jury proce during process involves the, the nine basic um, elements of art, which also apply you know, to photography, and their line, shape, form, space, texture, value, color, um, plus the rule of thirds for composition. I always strongly 
I try to look at that. I try it in my own photography, and I noticed editing some of my own work recently. It was like, ah, I've got to throw that one out because <laughs> everything's in the middle, you know. So it's really tough. But um, that's kind of how I based based my decisions. So. Um, I guess we'll get on then with okay. the awards. Um, we'll first start off with the honorable mentions, and I don't think they're really in any particular order, but um, we'll start with the first one. It's the McCullough Bridge by Jenny Pickett. And that's up there. Oh. Can you hear? That's me. Okay. Jenny? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> All right, and uh, maybe we can just kind of have you come over here and okay. point up toward it at least. And, uh, so, if like, I get your photo, Jenny? Yeah, that's what I did my mask. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just move over a little bit? Thank you. Good job. Um, she had very good composition there. And, um, and it was really striking with the fog just behind the bridge. So I really like that one. Another honorable mention is Ku's Color Harmonies Series 3 by Darla Parthmore. Yeah, series. Okay, yeah, because it's a series. That one, yeah, I, I really like the colors in that. Which one is it? That one? Yeah. Another um, one of the honorable mentions is Dream Forest by Kai Drews, 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 Drews. Um, He's not able to be here today. Oh, okay, that's the, um, uh, I think it's that forest. I liked the, um, the perspective in that, and it was just, um, just really draws you in. Um, another <laughs> honorable mention is Pelicans in the Blue by Jenny. composition in that. Um, she's got nothing chopped in the middle. She's got different kind of the rule of thirds is used a lot for that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next honorable mention would be my piece I give to you, Sandra Woodside. Hey, do you want the 
this up there? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. It's pretty high. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's the one on the top? Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Okay, second place is Crowline by Dick Brownfield. Texture and it's kind of got the rule of thirds, that line that I'm standing on, and um, just really stood out to me. And now, first place is Guide Me Through the Light, the Night Lighthouse by Sandra Woodside. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's give her a big hand for this. 